Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about missing numbers on a number line, primarily decimals. But I wanted to start by reviewing with just a very basic number line on what we would do so we can um, follow that concept when we move on to decimals. As I'm looking at this one right here, I can see that I need to figure out what is missing from this box right here. Now instead of just guessing right now, I know you can probably see what it is. Let's understand what it is that we're, how we're finding that out. Okay, I see some numbers here that have no mystery numbers in between them. So I can work with this. This is good. I want to see how much is the difference between 48 and 56. Or you could do between 56 and 64 since the interval is the same. So I'm going to look. I have 48. I have 56. I know to get from 50 to 56, it's 6. And to get from 48 to 50 is 2. So the difference between each of these is 8. So to figure out what this one is, I'm at 32, I can either add 8 to get 40, or if I'm at 48, I can subtract 8 to get 40. Either way, I know that the answer of what is missing is 40. 40 is what goes in the box. Now we're going to move on to some decimals. Here we go. Find the fraction and decimal for each letter on the number line. Okay, I'm going to make some letters on this number line. Put one here, here, oops. Um, let's go here and here. All right, the very first thing that we want to do is look at our number line. We want to see how, um, you know, to figure out what it's counting by. So for, I'm going to look and I'm going to see that from... I'm going from 0 to 1 right here. So I'm only dealing with the, the decimals between 0 and 1. I will not have anything in my 1s. I will have no whole numbers, so no mixed fraction, no mixed decimal. Okay, now I've got to figure out what is my number line counting by, or what is the interval. To do that, I'm going to count the number of spaces between 0 and 1. Be careful not to count exactly each line, including 0 and 1, because then you're going to end up with one too many. If you count only between the, the lines between 0 and 1, you're going to come up with one less. So really what you have to do is count the jumps. So let's count our jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it took me 10 jumps to get from 0 to to 1. That means that my um, number line is counting by tenths. Not tens because I'm under 1. So it's counting by tenths. Now what's kind of cool about um, the, this now is that you can just count the number of jumps and that's going to tell you what goes on top. So by the time I get to A, I have jumped two times. I've used two sections of my number line up. So my fraction would be two tenths. B would be 3, 4, 4 tenths, and then C is 7 tenths, and D is, one, two more, is 9 tenths. The great thing about this is we are working with tenths, and what you notice about decimals is they also come in tenths, hundredths, and so on. So we're going to have an easy time of converting these to decimals. We've done the fractions, now we're on to decimals. I'm going to look at two tenths. Well, two tenths, I can just look up at my chart and, going, and go, I need to say two tenths. So I can't put my two over here in the hundredths because that's the wrong place value. So I need to put my two in the tenths. So it is written as 0 decimal point 2, or 2 tenths. And many parents are saying, probably say 0 0.2 or 0 0.2, and that is very common, and I do it, everybody does it. But we really want to get you guys, your kids, to learn what that place value is. So we want you to be saying it the, um, the correct way, I guess you'd say, where you are constantly saying tenths, hundredths, so you're understanding what that place value is. Let's go to the next one. 
Um, this one would be putting a 4 in the tenths place. So I have 0 and 4 tenths. And then C would be 0 and 7 tenths. And D would be 0 and 9 tenths. There we go. So that is our answer. We have shown the fraction and the decimal for each of the numbers, of the letters. And I want to point out, too, that we can double check to make sure it's exactly right by repeating what we're seeing here. This would be 0 and 2 tenths. So then I come down over here, and I better be seeing two tenths there. And it matches. They all match. So great, we did it. Thanks. Bye.